Java code, the code that is produced by a JSP page, and the code you write to create a servlet is naturally thread safe. But there are some things that you need to not do to be sure that you keep it that way. A servlet is stored on the server as a class file, and it's made into an object whenever a user requests that it be executed. A JSP page has the same basic construction. It's compiled into a class file the first time a user requests it, and then it's made into an object so it can be executed. As long as two or more users can execute the same class file at the same time without getting stuff intertwined, it's thread safe. Each user has his own object, so as long as all data items are instantiated for each object, there's no problem. The problem comes from things that are declared as static. Anything declared as static is shared by all objects of that class. That is, if you declare a variable as static, every object that uses that variable uses exactly the same one. It's actually stored in the class definition, and it's used from there. So, in object-oriented talk, you'll hear these things referred to as class variables. Static methods are pretty much okay because any data declaration inside them are allocated at the instant the method is called. So, each caller has his own set of internal data items. I don't want to go into the mechanics of how all this works. Just take my word for it that everybody has their own. It's just those static data items that cause the problem, and all the static data items are outside the methods. Now, certain static data items are okay. You can have constants that are shared, and as long as their values never change, you'll never have a problem. The best way to do this is declare them as both static and final. That way, if some code gets written and tries to modify the value. The compiler will refuse to compile it into a class file. There are some times when you want to share a variable. This is usually for keeping track of things like a counter that keeps track of each time a servlet is executed, or a timestamp that stamps the last time a JSP page was displayed. You can do this, but you really need to synchronize the variable at the point at which you write to it and the point at which you read from it. That is, each thread will lock access to it, and the other threads will have to wait until it's finished. This is a feature of the Java language, and there are different ways to do it. But you must synchronize all shared variables. By the way, this synchronization thing can be used for your database accesses, but only if the accesses come from within the same code. If more than one program has a reason to read or write the database, it won't work. You'll need to use the database locking so it can handle all comers from all directions. The same is true for regular files. You can read and write to a file as long as you do it through synchronized code that only allows one thread at a time access to that file.